Hey everybody, Larry Bailey here with another Tuesday community event. Thanks everybody for coming. Uh, if you're watching this on replay, we meet every Tuesday in Mortgage Community. We meet at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Uh, Chris Lawrence says, let's go. I agree, Chris and Brian. Let's go. Let's get it done. Today's all about eFolder. Um, for the month of May and the month of June, uh, I am expressing some ideas and sharing knowledge, which is, I think, always healthy, uh, on how to perform a self-health check. Uh, I think Encompass Health Checks have been around um, for, uh, for a long time. Yes, Amy, Chris always wants to be first. He just literally types it out, and then he hits, he's like, Chris, if I ever need to buy any Ticketmaster tickets, I'm coming to you, because I, I figured you got the, uh, you got the in. Um, anyway... Uh, we're going to talk about, so today's conversation is all about eFolder. Um, in case you didn't notice, eFolder is uh, on desktop. It's also available on the web. Now, you can't do everything on the web that you, uh, that you can on desktop just yet, but it's pre getting pretty damn close. Um, conditions, I think, are the next big release in 24.2. Uh, By the way, it's coming out in 60 days-ish. So if you haven't if you haven't finished reading all the 24.1 release notes, um, you should probably finish up. You should probably take care of all that stuff. <clears throat> um, as always, this is a community meeting, so that means that your involvement is uh, recommended. And uh, if anybody has any questions, you want to go over anything, uh, you want to share your situation, feel free. Especially as it comes to some of the topics that we're going to cover today. Um, we're going to talk about documents. We're going to talk about um, the actual document um, within the e-folder. We're going to talk about document conversion. Old doc viewer, new doc viewer. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, listen in. We're going to talk about conditions, specifically standard conditions and enhanced conditions. Um, and you're going to hear me um, reiterate what I've been saying now for about 13 months, give or take. Um, but it doesn't make it any easier. Moving to enhanced conditions is uh, is a project. It's a very, very big project. So I'm going to share with some ideas. Uh, I'm going to get some feedback. We're going to uh, do a little pop quiz, uh, see who knows what they're doing. Everybody last week really liked it. So um, so there you go. That's what the uh, that's what the plan is for today. If anybody has any specific topics, questions they want to ask, things that you've run against, scenarios that you've run against. Um, on this, let me know. All right, so first pop quiz we'll do um, documents. How many documents are too many uh, is the first one, or even better, how many documents do you have in your environment? Um, document for those that are unindoctrinated, document is uh, to a filing cabinet, um, or document is to the e folder as a Manila hanging folder is to a filing cabinet. So, uh, you know, it's not uncommon. For companies to have hundreds um, because you need something for all these pdfs right and so then naming conventions come in uh, so lisa says never too many so lisa i'm going to pick on you how do you separate out all of your documents from a naming convention do you use the age-old method of doing like appraisal dash hyphen dash or do you use property dash appraisal or do you use borrower docs whatever do you use, like, how, how are you guys using this? Um, I've seen all different kinds of iterations over the years. And um, the problem of too many documents is a lot of maintenance. 